Hi, I'm Torvosaurus, and welcome to the late Jurassic period 144 million years ago. You say my name, Torvosaurus. It means savage lizard. <coughs> Gee, what is going on with my roar box? I'm a theropod, which means I walk on two legs and I eat meat. A meat eater is called a carnivore. I am the largest meat eater in these parts. I'm one of the biggest theropods ever, over 10 meters long. And these thumb claws, they help me hunt for food. I'm from what's now known as the Midwestern United States. Yeehaw! Ooh, 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 ooh. <sighs> <clears throat> me, 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 me. All me. That's better. Now let me try a good one. <laughs> oh yeah, welcome to the late Cretaceous period 70 million years ago. I'm a Gorgosaurus. That's Gorgosaurus. Mom? No? They're gonna think I'm just a kid. Wait till I get big. I'm going to be even scarier than my mom over there. Rawr! Cause that's what my name means, fearsome lizard. I'm not as tall as she is yet, but one day I'll be nine meters long. I'll be as long as a house. Gorgosaurus like me, Tyrannosaurus? Phew, that's a big word, but it has to be big just like us. Imagine, we're in the same dino family with T-Rex. See all the sharp teeth? We're meat eaters, and our teeth help us chew even the toughest meat. I'm from what is now known as Alberta, Canada. So when I get fully grown, watch out. If you want to get big, you have to eat a good meal. And I've already called you for lunch four times. Yes, Mom. Gotta go eat. See you later. Carcharodontosaurus here in the late Cretaceous period, 110 million years ago. Car, chero, donto, saurus. It means jagged, shark-toothed dinosaur. And for good reason. These teeth are 20 centimeters long. Pretty scary, huh? Well, they will be, anyway. I've got a loose tooth. When it's out, I'm going to be the happiest theropod ever. Theropod means beast feet. And there are lots of dinosaurs that belong to that family. Believe it or not, birds are in my family. Of course, T-Rex is the most famous theropod. But guess what? I'm just as big, if not bigger, than T-Rex. I'm 13 meters long! But I live in North Africa. Maybe if I don't wiggle it, it'll fall by itself. Maybe it won't be today. out of my egg. Oh! I'm Dasplinosaurus.
Cyrus, the frightful lizard. Did I scare you? Oh yeah, I'm the dino. Ah! Look at that scary dinosaur. Run for your life! That was a close one. Let me help you say my name. Das Plesiosaurus. Das Plesiosaurus. Seventy-five million years ago is a horror show of carnivorous monsters. But you're never going to find another scarier than me. See these teeth? These are dagger sharp, curved, and they have the same edges as saw. See? Saw? Get it? Ha! <laughs> these teeth are huge. Uh, only smaller than my future cousin Tyrannosaurus Rex. But they're still big! Uh, like I said before, uh, my name means scary lizard. And there's nothing scarier than me. Uh, let's think of some scary animals. A lion is scary, all right. <laughs> what else? A great big grizzly bear. Those are totally scary. I'm telling you, it's my choppers as much as my size. Uh, I'm one frightful lizard, all right. I'm also hungry. Now that is scary. I'm Panopolosaurus. That's pan o plo -saurus. I wonder if you can guess what my name means. Welcome to our game show. Guess the meaning of my name. Clue number one. I live here in the late Cretaceous period, 74 million years ago. No guesses? Okay. I'm from the family of dinos called Ankylosauria. That means I have body armor. I have a stiff, clubless tail, and look at all my spikes. I'm built like an armored truck. Any ideas? Uh, square root of four. Uh, divide by eight. Mm, pie. This is an easy clue. I'm the same size as a dump truck, and I weigh three and a half metric tons, the same as an elephant. Of course, all of this armor is to protect me from meat eaters like these two T Rexes. Okay, this is the last clue, and then you'll have to answer. I live in what is now Alberta, Canada. So can you guess what my name means? Does it mean delicious? No, Panoplosaurus means totally armored lizard. Look at all the armor on me. Sheesh. Do I win something? No. Hey, play nice. I gave you easy clues. Oh well, see you next time. Hi, hi, I'm Zuni Ceratops. You say it Zuni Ceratops. My name means Zuni Horned Head. And my eyebrow horns come in handy especially since I have an itch in the middle of my back where I just can't reach. Ah! Ah! And this is my home here in the Middle Cretaceous period, 90 million years ago. See? My fossils were found in what's now known as New Mexico. A tribe of Native Americans lived here called the Zuni. Zuni, Zuni Ceratops. I'm the first Ceratopsian. That means dinosaur who likes to eat plants that has eyebrow horns. And I have another horn. See, at the tip of my nose. I'm not very big, just about the size of a cow. So itchy! Wait, I know. Could you please scratch my back? A little to the left, lower. Yes, that's the best thing about being in a herd. 
You always get a helping head. Bye for now. Oops, sorry about that. I thought that he might be hiding in there. Oh, by the way, I'm Mega Raptor. That's Mega Raptor. You may have noticed that I'm in a bit of a rush, so I haven't got a whole lot of time to chat. Aha! Hey, wait a sec! Come back here! I'm as tall as a diving board. Um, excuse me. I'm wondering if you can help me with something. It's Mother's Day, and I have no idea what to get my mum. Do you have any ideas? A bag of nuts! That would be a great idea. But nope, she hates nuts. We're carnivores, and we don't eat plants. That's a great idea! Happy Mother's Day, Mom! Hi there. I was just saying hello to the sun. You wait right here, babies. Mom is just gonna go talk to these folks for a minute. I'm Gallimimus. That's ga li mim mus My name means chicken mimic. A mimic is someone who copies someone else. But I don't think I copy a chicken at all. I'd like to know what chicken is as long as me. From the top of my head to the tip of my tail, I'm almost as long as a big car. Hey, where'd you go? Oh, sorry, I didn't see you there. You see, even though I have these really big, pretty eyes, I can't tell how far away things are, or even things right in front of me. I have to look sideways, like this. My babies! Oh, this is so exciting. I wonder what they'll be. <gasps> Baby Gallimimuses, just what I wished for. Well, I better start feeding them. Bye! My name's Min Me. It's very easy to say, Min Me. And welcome to the early Cretaceous period, 150 million years ago. These, these are my friends, Larry and Mo. We're very special dinosaurs called Ankylosaurs. Ankylosaurs are dinosaurs that eat plants and have armored plates on our backs. And today, we're gonna have a race. Hey. What are you trying to pull? Oh, come on. With all that body armor on your back, you didn't even feel a thing. Ta-da! Now, are we gonna race or not? Sorry, all of this racing is making me hungry. What are you talking about? We haven't even raced yet. <laughs> Minmies aren't very big. We're about the size of a full-grown lion. Hey, we could have raced Australia and back by now. That's where our fossils were found. It was now known as Australia, a place called Minmi's Crossing. Get ready. 
Get set! And... Uh. Eh... I don't feel like racing anymore. You? We're not very fast anyways. Let's just go for a slow walk then. Besides, we all know who would have won. Yeah, yeah me! me. Welcome to my forest 66 million years ago. I'm Leptoceratops. Leptoceratops. My name means skinny, horned face. It's good practice for when I get older, when I have to bonk heads with other dinos. We stand, look at the other guy, and bonk heads! Like this. Whoa! <laughs> Good one. You see, lucky for me, I belong to a very special group of dinosaurs. We have these hard heads. It's like built-in safety gear. I have my own helmet. Oh, and see, we also have a beak, like a parrot. And we like to eat plants. I can walk on two legs or four legs. I'm powerfully built. Grrr. I'm about the same size as a horse, but much more powerful. Here, let me show you. Watch out! I think I better keep practicing, but somewhere else. Bye. Greetings. Welcome to the late Cretaceous period, 67 million years ago, in what is now known as North America. Ah, we're all waiting for the eggs to hatch. Hi! I'm Trudon. True dawn. It means tooth that wounds. That's because of the very sharp teeth that I have. We're also the smartest dinosaurs around. Hey, Mr. True Don, my friend and I have a problem. We had five seeds, I ate two, and now there's only one left. How many did my friend eat? Your friend ate two. I knew it. Hey, Percy, I told you, you owe me two seeds. <laughs> See? Super smart. I'm pretty much half the size of a human being. But since I'm a theropod like a T-Rex, I'm at the top of the food chain. Mr. Trudon, my friends and I only have this one cicade, but both want it. What do we do? Awesome. You're the coolest. Sharp teeth and very sharp toe claws. Oh, they're going to hatch. Well, it looks like we're going to have a big birthday party tonight. But tomorrow, they have to start learning math if they're going to be smart like me. One, two, three! Oh, hi. I'm Corythosaurus. That's core, ritho, saurus. Do you know what that means? Helmet lizard. It's because of this thing on my head. My herd and I use them to make amazing sounds. Listen. <laughs> okay, that's not exactly what it's supposed to sound like. It must be all the dust from the volcanoes over there. <laughs> wow, what a sound. That's awesome. How come I can't make a big sound? Why can't I do it? Did you hear that? It's my herd calling. I'm gonna answer them if it's the last thing I do. <laughs> what am I doing wrong? There's my herd. I wonder if they wanna play with me. Hey, guys! 
prize. What do you say we play a game of... Whoa! Did you hear that? Did you? Oh, joy! I wonder if they heard it. Oops. Sorry to wake you. I was just so excited that I finally made the same sound as you guys. I'll be quieter. That's what I call fresh air on the open range. My name is Ineosaurus. That's i ne o -saurus. It means buffalo lizard. Did you know that I'm from what is now known as Montana? Only here, nowhere else in the world. You know, there's more to the late Cretaceous period than trees and stinky flowers. I'm a ceratopsid. That means I'm a herbivore. I eat plants. And I have a beak. And we have these big curved horns on our noses. Looks like a big bottle opener, doesn't it? Too bad there's no such thing as bottles in the late Cretaceous period. And I live in a big herd, which is great if there are any big dinos around that might be a threat. Just one of us might not be enough to scare off a big gobbler dino, even though we're six meters long and weigh two tons. But put us all together, and there is safety in numbers. And hey, if that doesn't work, there's always the old stampede! See you! I thought you'd pass right by. I'm Eustreptospondylus. That's pronounced Eustrep to Spondylus. But you can call me Esther. This is my island here in the middle Jurassic period, nearly 160 million years ago. Pretty nice, huh? Eustreptospondylus means well curved vertebrae, which are those bones in your back. As you can see, we are great dancers. Theropods like us are naturals. A theropod means two-legged dino, by the way. This makes us great at doing things on two legs, like running and dancing. And you can tell how much I love to dance. We're pretty long, about the size of a city bus. And we're four meters high at the hips. That's like how high you can jump up on a trampoline. Like most theropods, we have big teeth to eat with and two small arms, which makes it hard to clap, but perfect for playing the maracas. You know what time it is? That's right, limbo time! The limbo king. Only one thing to do now. Give the trophy to the best dancer around. And then, what else? Dance! Oh yeah, so good. Love it. You should taste these plants and grass. It's so good. Oh, excuse my manners. My name is... So hungry. Oh yeah, my name is Brachiosaurus. Wow, I'm hungry. Yes, I know I don't look a kilogram over 60 tons, but I'm still growing. I'll get to be about 16 meters tall. Anyway, I think there's a forest over there I can eat. 
After all, I'd eat my 200 kilograms of food a day. Aren't you scared of me? All dinosaurs are scared of the Allosaurus. No, no, I'm a Brachiosaurus, a plant-eating dinosaur. I'm a herbivore. Bye. Hmm, all this talk of food is making me really hungry. The herd! Yay! I thought I lost you guys. Excuse me while I join my herd. Oh, I'm lost again. Hey, look, a delicious forest. Yes, there you go. Well, hello. I'm Mutaborosaurus. Yeah, see you with me. Muta Buddha Saurus. And welcome to the early Cretaceous period. Yes, I'm named after Mutabura. The place where they found my fossil in what is now known as Australia. As you can see, I'm the top of my game when it comes to eating these sakai trees. But how's your honking? Bruce. He can honk louder than any Mutabura source around. Mm, yes, yeah, you see, we have these little honkers up here on our heads that we make our calls from. I challenge you to a honk off. A honk off, eh? Hmm, yeah, you're on. I'm a pretty big dino. I'm nine meters long. And I'm a herbivore. <laughs> Not bad, but try this one. Good, that was a real good one. Uh-oh, we seem to have called the whole herd over. Well, since we're all here, why don't we have a honk along? Great idea. See you next time. Hi, I'm Massospondylus. You say it like this, Massospondylus. I'm trying to think of what I can do for the Dino Talent Show. It helps to have hands that let me grab things or I'd never be able to do this. <laughs> my name means massive vertebra. Those are the bones in my neck. Here, take a look. Now that's a lot of neck. I live in what is now called South Africa. I'm about the same size as an elephant, but I weigh a lot less because my bones are hollow and I have air sacs that make me lighter. That's how I can be so light on my feet. I know. I could tap dance in for the talent show. Hmm, maybe not dancing. Oh, I know. I love to sing. Listen. La 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 la. Well, what do you think of my singing? I guess I need to practice more. I wish there was something else I could do for the Dino Talent Show. Something I was good at. Oh well, I'm sure it'll come to me. See you at the Talent Show! Ladies, we're never going to eat if you two keep scaring off the insects. Sorry, Sorry that, that was, was my bad. bad. Hiya, I'm Saltipus. That's pronounced saltopus. It means hopping foot. I'm Vera. I'm Betty. We're very early theropods. That's meat eaters that walk on their two back legs. Now, girls, now! Okay, 
This isn't funny. Uh, uh. Welcome to the early Triassic period. 223 million years ago. We're from what is now called Scotland. But not much is known about us other than... We're dinos! Well, actually, they don't know for sure. So, if nobody knows what we really look like, then you might have purple polka dots and a yellow head. <laughs> or she might have horns and two tails. <laughs> well, I think we to look a little like other dinos. We are about the same size as a cat, but with lots and lots of really sharp teeth. Oh, I don't know. I kind of like what I look like right now. They are mine! See ya! Very, very quiet. I'm on the hunt. Or am I being hunted? I'm Nick Webasaurus. That's Nick Webasaurus. The first dino ever to have a tongue click in his name. <laughs> Hurry, we must keep going. I'm being followed. I may not be big, but I'll have you know I am the great uncle to the powerful and famous T-Rex. In 50 million years, T-Rex will be crowned king of the dinosaurs. And he'll have me to thank. Dinos like me have been found in what is now known as Africa. Though I'm not as large as a T-Rex, I'm still all carnivore. <laughs> I eat insects and small lizards. My hands help me a lot because though I have only three fingers, one is like a thumb, making grabbing much easier. And these claws, razor sharp. They help me climb when there are no branches. My talents are hiding and sneaking around. I am super duper at being quiet and well, invisible really, but sometimes, <laughs> We're also very, very jumpy. Hey! <laughs> Those guys make me laugh. Hello, hello! I'm Nothronicus. That's Nothron I Cuss. And welcome to our late Cretaceous TV show. No, your dinosaurs! Joining me today are my best buddies, Custard and Ronnie. Hi. Hi! We're talking about what makes us really different from other dinos. Custard, any thoughts? Um, we're on TV? Uh, good try, but no. Even though we're theropods, we don't eat meat. You see, most theropods are carnivores. Great, now I'm hungry. Oh, oh, I've got one. We have very fine feathers covering our whole bodies. Mm-hmm. What else is different about us from most dinos? We have these long claws for snipping leaves and branches. And our teeth aren't sharp, but they're perfect for mashing up plants. And we drool when we chew with our mouths open. I'm not drooling. Let's not forget that we need to eat a lot because we're really big. As big as this giraffe fella here. All right, all right, thanks for coming on the show. We live in what is now called New Mexico. And that's our show. Join us next time in the late Cretaceous period as we discuss asteroids, real or are they a myth? So. Who wants to get something to eat? Whoa! Hey! Hi! Welcome to the late Jurassic period 150 million years ago. I'm Othnelia. You say that Oth, Ni, Li, Ya. <laughs> and I'm in the best game of tag I've ever played. Hey, he's right behind us. 
Nah, he'll never tag us. We're way too fast. I mean, look at me. I'm built for speed. My stiff tail gives me balance to make super sharp turns. You can't tag me. Come here, you little herbivore. I'm not playing. I need to tell you something. <laughs> yeah, right. Why are you chasing me if you're not playing? He's right about me being a herbivore. That's a plant eater. But I'm not that little. I'm about the same size as a big dog. But with my tail, I'm much, much longer. <laughs> Sorry, Al. You'll have to be quicker than that to tag me. I have lots of room to run around here in what's now known as Wyoming, USA. Come back here. I, uh, I just need to tell you something. Hey! Why'd you stop? Okay, fine. What did you want to tell me? Well, it's very serious. It's very, very serious. Tag, you're it. Nah. I can't believe I fell for that. Ready or not, here I come. Ah, beautiful view, isn't it? Hi, I'm Pteranodon. You say it. Pteranodon, and it means winged and toothless. That's right. In my beak, I have no teeth. Do you want to know a secret? Hey, Pteranodon, I'm going to the picnic now. Oh, the dino picnic. Really? Do you think I can come? Yeah, sure. Every dino can. Remember that secret I want to tell you? Well, the secret is that I'm not a... So, okay. Let's go. I'm from what is now Kansas, in the USA. But that's not the secret. Secret? I love secrets. I have hollow bones to make me light, and I have a huge wingspan, about 10 meters wide. That's as wide as a hand glider. That's not a secret, Pteranodon. Okay, fine. Do you want to know my secret? Well, here it is. I'm not a dinosaur. <coughs> That's right. I'm not a dino at all. I'm a flying reptile. I'm related to the dinosaurs, but not actually one myself. I guess I can't come to the dinosaur picnic now. By the way, dinosaur means great lizard. As far as I'm concerned, it also means friend. Yippee! <laughs> Thanks, T-Rex. You're the best. My best friend and I are going on a picnic. See you later. Oh.